Welcome Gemini. I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your Angel Tarot and your Angel Oracle reading for the week of January the 21st to the 28th, 2019. I want to thank you for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos. I am truly, truly blessed and grateful. Please click the button, the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on open air and they've been published. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Take what you can from it. Some of these may resonate with you and others may not. So just leave what you don't, doesn't resonate with you and take what does. If you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to go to my website where you'll see the services that I offer. Okay, let's get on with this reading, Gemini, my beautiful twins. Let's see what we have here. Geminis are so great at communicating and uh, and I love that uh, with them. I've known quite a few Geminis and they're extremely great and good communicators. They're open, they're great listeners, uh, and they have the ability to see things intuitively um, when they are communicating with others. Okay, so I asked my guides <clears throat> and Divine Spirit, Ascended Masters, or Archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, and Archangel Michael, to please send me a card or three cards if you desire for this reading. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we have here for you. Alrighty. Okay. So we have the Three of Water, which is the Three of Cups, which has to do with dealing with things on an emotional level. You have Unity, beautiful card. Unity is an amazing card. It has to do with meeting other people, bringing new people into your, uh, into your, uh, into your circle. This would be known as the Hierophant in the regular uh, traditional tarot deck. And that's about, you know, fitting in with the status quo and accepting discipline and peer pressure and studying higher values and sharing the belief system, knowing how to act appropriately and discriminating from discrimination from other knowledge. So this is all about um, you may be stuck in, the, in your ways and unwilling to adapt to others, um, but it is a hierophant card in the traditional. But I do see you wanting to move on. Um, with new friends in your circle. So this is the two of earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and often it has to do with our jobs, careers, professions, but sometimes it can have to do with our families and dealing with uh, within our family circle. You did get the three of water and the three of water is a beautiful. Uh, it's a three of cups. We all know what the three of cups looks like in traditional tarot. It's the two women standing there, the three men, women with three cups in their hand and they're looking and they're dancing and it often has to do with weddings, celebrations, uh, the connection of a bond, uh, a, um, a commitment uh, to do with something or someone in your life, uh, but it is a celebration of some sort. It could be, you know, the celebration of and the announcement of a new birth, uh, a graduation, but it has to do with celebrating a situation in your life. Perhaps it's a situation, um, you know, that uh, you, you're going to be getting invited to, an event that you're going to be getting invited to. I do see you having fun. I do see this as a wonderful card of, of optimism, of happiness, of celebrating, of, you know, I see people dancing. Uh, this is a beautiful card when it comes to uh, events going on around you uh, that you're going to be using to your best benefit uh, with your emotions, okay? These are beautiful, loving, emotional uh, messages that come in via through the cups. Uh, you know, both love relationships and this particular one is that one where you're going to either be receiving an invitation to go to some sort of a wedding or a celebration of some sort. Someone wants you there. They want you to invite you there. They enjoy your company. Uh, some of you may be getting involved and in offering your help or having been volunteered and asked to help with one of these uh, events. But I do see some of you going out and enjoying the announcement of either a new baby in your life uh, or a wedding, um, a commitment of some sort in your life, something like this event. Now, as I talked about unity being the hierophant, 
Um, unity is all about bringing new people into our circle. And I do see sometimes with the Hierophant, it refers to, you know, the higher power. It refers to spiritual, looking at things in a more spiritual way, not a, and not allowing our ego to step forward on the path and take the lead. I do see that some of you are going to be joining, uh, joining groups or meetup groups or organizations uh, where you're going to be with people of like minds, with the same integrity and morals that you do, the same interests that you do. And I see that, you know, some of you may be feeling that, you know, it's more spiritual for you. Maybe you're joining up a group that wants to do meditation or you're joining a group that, you know, is looking into, uh, you know, some new age type of spiritualism. Some of you may be tapping into your own divine higher power here. You're going to seek out mentors. You're going to see, seek out other people that can guide you on your path, okay? You're going to seek out people that uh, you look up to that you're going to want in your end of the circle, that you're going to want in uh, in in your group of friends. You're going to want to meet and be, have them around you. And you're going to meet them. They're coming in. So I do see some of you may have uh, changed whole direction of where you want to go in your life. Uh, you're, you're, you've are you realized that, well, this isn't working. This isn't where I want to be. Uh, this, is, this is where I want to be. And so you're looking at things in a more, um, you know, you're stepping into your own power. You're stepping into your own ascension, your own, you're feeling more enlightened now. Uh, and you're wanting to uh, have other people like that with you. So you may be leaving other people behind. Uh, you may be walking away. They may be falling off your path because they're not growing with you on your path. And so you're wanting to be around and, uh, uh, and, and, and be in that circle of light with these people. I love that card. I love, you know, I love that the universe sends us people. I don't believe in deja vu. I believe it's meant to be uh, when we meet these people, we connect. And there's a reason why we connect. We're connecting on a more higher level, a more higher frequency. We're vibrating at a higher frequency, and so are they. So we, you know, we are meeting those like-minded people. Now, you've been given the two of verse for the end of that week of January the 21st to the 28th. And this is that one that tells me there's an awful lot going on right now. It shows me that, you know, you may have to make a decision that may have to do either in your personal life with your family, something going on there, or you may have to make a decision when it comes to your place of employment, okay, your, the, your career, your job. I do see that you're going to be, you know, kind of, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be able to fly. You're going to be able to go in your own direction. You're going to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel again. I do see that, you know, this is the, the two of pentacles. Uh, this talks about making choices. This talks about, you know, juggling, uh, you know, your time, juggling, uh, you know, decisions in your mind this way and that way to try to figure out where it is you want to go <coughs> because there's an awful lot going on and you can't seem to make up your mind right now. So you're standing there, you know, juggling it back and forth in your mind and saying, well, you know, I could have this or I could have that. But, you know, it's all about needing to make this decision. And I do see that you're going to make this decision. And it isn't going to be as difficult as you think, my friend, Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a little drink of water. Okay, so let's have some clarification here, some clarifying cards on the Three of Water, please. Ask my Divine Spirit and I ask my guides to please send me a card to clarify this Three of Water, this celebration that's coming in, this event that's coming in. Let's see what's happening there. Let's see what they're going to give us here for that. All right, come on, give me that card, please. Well, we're still having our snowstorm here today in the Great White North in Canada, but it's fine. We're in the house. We're warm. We're comfortable. I made a big pot of chili con carne for lunch. We can have it for supper as well. Well, how ironic you got the Four of Wands. There's your Three of Water, okay? Four of Wands actually shows the celebration. Okay, there it is, celebrating, looking forward. There's the bridal wreath. There's the bridal arch. Okay, four of wands, taking action, getting uh, this beautiful, beautiful wedding coming into play, this, uh, this connection where you are getting commitment long term, celebrating, celebrating an event. How wonderful is that? Perfect, perfect card to tie in with this three of water. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, unity. So this is happening, my friends. Some of you are going to be uh, getting married, going to a wedding, celebrating, having a great time. 
Happy times, my friend. Okay, unity. Bringing new people into your circle. The same integrity and the same morals. Uh, you know, maybe joining spiritual organizations, okay? Seeking out people of like mind. Okay, there we are. You have been given the nine of pentacles. Beautiful. So you're starting to see the fruition of your labors. You're starting to see all of the abundance around you. You're taking on a more gentle look at life. You're standing there in that beautiful abundant garden full of all that beautiful growth, all the, the new growth with those pentacles. Seeing the abundance around you, feeling grateful for it, being grounded now, and knowing that you can start fresh in a new direction. That's what this is about. Meeting those on your path that are going to lead you to your own peace, your own true identity, uh, what it is you want to do and where you want to go. And it's funny how when we want to go in a new direction, not always the people we've had in our life up until that point agree with what we do or understand what we do, and they don't have to. Because there's going to be new ones coming in that you're going to be bringing into that family circle, into your circle of friends. I love meeting new people, and that's what this is about, because they're always going to be the ones that are meant to come down our path. And you're seeing it here, okay, moving in a new positive direction. Beautiful, beautiful abundance coming in. Perfect card for that clarification card. Two of, two of Earth. Let's see what's happening here. Lots going on. Um, you know, juggling information, going this way and that. Perhaps you're having a debate with somebody uh, in your life right now, and neither one of you wants to make this decision. Um, you know, but you have to make this decision, okay? But you're going to do it, and you're going to be fine with it. Okay, this one flipped up, so we're going to take it. Okay, so you've been given, you know, the Five of Pentacles always looks so, you know, gloomy. You know, someone feels like they've been thrown out in the cold. They don't see uh, that, you know, they, they feel like something's been taken away from them. They feel like they've been betrayed. Uh, this is about a lot of information going on here. So with this Two of Earth, I do see that, you know, there's a decision that has to be made, and maybe this card is saying, that you know you, you you turned your back on that you you just don't know you've been given an option and uh, an ultimatum or something and you just can't decide I mean I you'd rather walk away than make that decision so this one here is walking away but this guy here he's got help he's been given assistance he's been given information he's been given ideas he's been given options to make this decision and he's moving forward in a very fast movement his heads up he's got that help with the crutches and you look at his feet He's not dragging his heels like her, okay? So you have two choices here. Juggling this information back and forth, back and forth. Do I do this or do I do that? Do I see the gloom and doom in the situation or do I realize this is meant to be and I can see the positive? I can take the lesson that I'm being taught, okay? Do that. Make that decision because you're not getting anywhere by juggling it back and forth by the debates, by the competition, by all of that. You need to make that decision, but do it in a more playful approach. It'll work out. It'll work out if you do that. That's a card where I say, okay, fine. You couldn't make the decision, so I'm making it now. And you have to live with that, okay? So let's see what our message here from the Ascended Masters is, our beautiful oracle message today for my Geminis, all right? Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here, Gemini. Oops, too many coming out here. We only want one, thank you. I will take two if that's what you think I need. Well, we got one. Okay. Gemini, you've been given positive changes. This is great, and I do see this happening. Good times are coming in here. You're going to get commitments from someone that's going to help you on your path, and you're going to be happy and celebrating about it. Uh, perhaps it's an actual uh, event that you're going to be going to. Unity, bringing in and tapping into those people that can guide you and help you and, and uh lead you on your path and uh, be there to support you along your path because this is what it's going to lead to peace of mind happiness being balanced being grounded and knowing that you're that you have all this abundance around you two of earth juggling your information okay you have two choices you can look at it negatively or positively all right but i do see that you're going to see the positive changes coming in that's what this talks about things are going to improve things are going to work out for you uh because things are going to start going on here for you with the two of earth the juggling back and forth but you're communicating okay you're communicating here and it's going to work out know that you have two ways two directions to go okay both of them have options and i see that you can pick the one that's going to help you okay positive changes coming in gemini great great oracle message for this reading okay let's see from the inspirational wisdom deck okay this is from the angels as well i don't use this very much but I'm asking for a message for Gemini, please, to tie in this reading. 
please give us a message for us, Gemini, please. Thank you. Okay. You've been given. Embrace the guiding light that you are and move forward in the knowledge and of the powerful person within you. So, again, you know, this is all about you standing in your own power, okay? This is all about you knowing that you have this abundance around you, all right? Not letting the negative energy outside in the outside world bring you down and make you think, you know, I can't do this, I feel defeated, I'm going to give up. No, no, because you're getting help here. You're getting help here. You can do this. That's what the unity is about, meeting others that are going to bring that into your path. You're going to be able to see where you're going to go. I do see you celebrating big happy changes, positive changes coming in. Stand in your own power, okay? Stand in your own power. Embrace the light that you are, okay? And the knowledge that's coming in, the knowledge that you carry within yourself, the high, your higher self. You vibrate at a wonderful higher level now, Gemini. This is a beautiful reading for you, okay? And embrace the powerful person that you are. Well, my beautiful Geminis, Here's your reading for the week of January the 21st to the 28th. I'll see you again soon and know, my friends, that I stand in that circle of light for you always, Jim.